Right, hello, welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we are doing a review, or well, first time I've had an unpacking, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, of the Landshad One. This is a Polis tent, ultra lightweight. The only thing that comes with it is some tent bags, and that is it. Um, first of all, I have to say a ma massive, massive thank you to Mark who gifted this to me. Um, and I'm hoping to get out in a few weeks to uh, actually use this if it's not too bad because. Some videos that I've watched of these, um, people say they're great in the summer, but they're a bit leaky. So I'm going to give it a go how it is first of all, and then I'm going to uh, fab seal it if I need to, um, or some other waterproof proofing of it, uh, which I'll probably do a video of of how I do it as well, so you can see that. Um, I'd love to say this is the first time I've unpacked it and tried to put it up. But it isn't, I've already videoed trying to put this up and the sound quality was crap basically. So I'm um, having to redo it. We are losing light because it is quite late in the day now. So I'll try and do this quick as I can, short as possible. This isn't the original bag that the tent pegs come in. They're, they're actually in here. Um, it comes with nine tent pegs, but I found that it wasn't enough. Um, you need a couple extras. So if you watch, already watched my gear video, you'll know why it's in this bag and why there's a lot extra pegs in here. And you'll see the style of pegs. I will show you the two styles that I use. Um, so to put this tent up, you just need a hiking pole, trekking pole. For the one man, for the two man, you do need two. Uh, and that's it really. So let's get on with it. And uh, I'll bring you back in a second. I'm gonna put you on my head mount, cause probably be easy for you. Cause I noticed the video quality was a bit the video quality was alright, but you couldn't really see much of what I was doing. So I want to stick you on a head cam and see how I get on with this. All right, so first of all, I'm going to unpack it. This is a um, it is a dry bag. I think they're made out of seal nylon. It feels like uh, they come in two different colours. This is the white. I think they do. It's either a green or a yellow. So it's a compression sack. But unfortunately, if you get too much air in there, you can't really compress it too much. Ooh, dropped it already. So let's uh, give us a shake out and get it laid out. Also what comes in here, comes from some extra guidelines and a, some repair patches. But I've not got the uh, repair patches with me. I'll tell you what the cord's for in a bit. <laughs> Something that I do and others might want to do as well. So, um, these are the tent pegs it comes with. They're really small. And these are the ones I use in my other tent, which are a lot bigger. These won't actually fit in half the holes, unfortunately. And these are a quad uh, or an X shape, whereas these are a Y shape. So I'm gonna peg out the corners first. So peg that one out. And unfortunately, because these are so small, if you've got cold hands, they really do hurt putting and pushing them in. Now, I've not, you can actually adjust all these straps, but I've not actually adjusted any of them yet, just for the pure fact of, I've only put it up once. But if you find out pushing these against your hands hurts too much, you can actually use another one to push it in, or even a rock, if you can find a rock close by. So you have the inner and the outer, so if it is really hot or whatever else, you can just use the outer. But I've seen a lot of people tend to put these up separate, tend to put up the outer first, and then put the pole up and everything and then put, up, put the inner in but you got to peg through both of them so you sort of need to do them both at the same time and this is only a rough peg because it's once you put the pole up you're gonna have to change it a bit right so that's that in so the poles next so like I said hiking pole trekking pole whatever you want to call it I only put the big bit right up to the stop. Leave the plow at the centre a bit a bit. Find where it's got to go. 
Now, I think, I don't know if you can see, there's a loop here, which I didn't know last time. I think the pole is actually meant to sit in that loop. I'm not too sure, so if I'm wrong on that, and you guys have picked these up before, do let me know. So, up as high as possible, to get the maximum room there. So, that's that up. Next, guidelines. So the guidelines, these big ones will fit through, so that's why I always use them for the guidelines. So uh, I'm going to peg this door out first, I think. Now, I don't know what this bit here is for, so if you know what that's for, drop a link in the comments. A link, not a link, sorry. Uh, comment in the comments. I'm not trying to pretend I'm a professional at this. This is quite new to me, this tent. I've never had a poolless tent before. Like I said, I have already put this up, so I do sort of know roughly what I'm doing. And I forgot about this one. Plug do that one up there. Now a lot of people stand on pegs. I try and refrain from standing on the pegs just for the pure fact of um you can bend them and snap them and things. So I do try and refrain from standing on the pegs. If it's that hard to push into the ground, then uh, you should think about putting your tent up somewhere else. Like that one there, it's really hard that bit because there's a rock there. That goes out and went in a bit easier. So now I'm going to pull this one out and adjust it, try and make the door a bit tighter. So, that is it. This front seems really flappy though, so I don't quite know why. I can pull that side tight, can't even get the other side tight. I don't know if something to do with this, I don't know. Hmm, can't seem to get on tight. Never mind. Right, so that is the land shad one set up, ready to go. Right, so let's take a look inside. There is quite a lot of room. I need to just adjust this stick a bit more. There we go. Stuff a bit straighter. So I've already got into this tent already. So I'm not gonna bother this time. But there is quite a lot of room in there. Uh, I do find if you don't pull it out tight enough though, uh, the guidelines at each end, the, the net tends to sag onto your head, which ain't always a great thing. So it's always worth making sure they're nice and tight. Um, there's, I've laid in here already, there is enough room in here for you to lay right here and there's quite a bit of room beside you so when you put some gear down there and things and there's probably enough room in here for your bag if you haven't got a massive bag I've got 50 plus 10 so that's probably enough room down there for my bag and then I can chuck cook kit or anything that I don't want in my tent in here so there's quite a bit of room in it and you also got the porch way as well so yeah, that is the Landshad one. Not tried it yet. This is 
well, my first time pinning it up properly. This last one was a bit of a flop. Uh, I'm trying to get the pole to stay up. But this time's done. So if anybody knows how to get this door tighter, then uh, please let me know. Because that's going to bug me in the wind. It's going to be flapping around all over the place. I know it's going to be a, a bit of a flappy tent anyway. But uh, it'd be nice to have that door a bit tighter. I suppose I'd put the lines out some wider as well if I wanted to. But that's fine.